Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a couple of different very quick and easy curl friendly hairstyles that I like to do on days that I don't want to have my hair down or I don't want to have my hair in my face or if it just looks really bad like up here. You know like my day three, four, five when it's really greasy and the definition is kind of um, a thing of the past. Then I'm going to show you a couple of the hairstyles that I basically rely on for those days. All I really use are bobby pins. I have a ton of these little bobby pins and hair ties for all of these different styles. So, so the first style that I like to do is to pin back just one piece of my hair on one side. Um, I usually just take the front curl, one or two, put it back here, and I'll pick up the hair here and pin it right underneath so that it laps over. Otherwise, I'm pinning down all this hair and then it looks really flat. So I'm just making sure that I cross the pins so that they actually stay in place. And then I just make sure that my hair falls over. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is what I do when I want to have this little piece out of my face and my hair pretty much still looks okay so I don't really need to pick it up very much. Um, another style I do is if this side looks bad and this one looks fine, then I'll just pin this one back. So it's super easy. And sometimes I do this just when I want my hair to look a little bit nicer instead of I wear my hair down almost every day. And it's basically the same thing. I'm just pinning it back. Make sure that you're using the um, like wavy side close to your scalp. I didn't know that when I was younger and I used to use it the other way and I had no idea that I was actually using it wrong. Alright, so then I'm crossing them like I did before. Sometimes these things get all twisted on me. Okay, I think I've got it. Alright, so then I just, you know, fix my hair as needed, but this keeps this side out of the way. Sometimes I might need to add a little bit of product to this hair underneath here, but usually these curls are much nicer than um, the rest of my hair so I usually don't have to do that. Now on days where both sides look bad I'll pin both sides back. So basically just going to do the same thing on the other side but I have to make sure that I'm not just like flattening my hair like sticking it all to my scalp because it's not a good look for me so I want to make sure I still have a little bit of volume. Okay, so I put two pins in there. Actually, some of this hair didn't quite make it in there. But you get the idea. And then, um, I like to make sure that the pieces that are coming out are very defined. So at least that part looks fine. And then I might like lift up some of this here to create a little bit of lift, maybe pull some of it out and get a little bit more volume in the scalp area. But um, this is basically one of um, when my scalp is really greasy, I'll do this. And then on days where this cannot be salvaged at all, like the, the curls are just a hot mess, there's nothing you can do, I pick it up. So I have three different things that I do um, when I want to pick my hair up. Usually what I do is, if the ends are not too bad, I'll put it all to one side. Usually I put it to the side that it's parted to. And then I take one curl from underneath. Okay, this one will work. And I use that to wrap it around my hair twice. I guess I'm doing a low ponytail. And then when I come the second time, I'm going to get two bobby pins, and I'm going to pin that strip of hair from the bottom straight up. The first pin goes straight up, and I make sure that I am actually pinning that piece. And then I use the other one to cross it. And then I just pull on this, fluff it up a little bit. Sometimes I'll pull a, a curl out, maybe on this side, on this side. Um, and that's it. It's super easy, and because you cross the two pins underneath, it holds 
usually all day long. If not, sometimes later in the day, I'll have to take it out and repin it, but you saw how quick that was, super easy. Now, on days where this doesn't look so great, then I do a bun or a braid. So the bun is super easy. And I think that for most girls with curly hair, they'd have an easier time doing all these styles because I have such little hair. Like this is my whole entire head of hair right here. I wrap a ponytail around like four or five times because it's so thin. Um, you know, so I think most hairstyles are easier for others. So what I'm going to do now is a side bun. So just making sure that this is not all stuck to my scalp. And I'm just going to twist it loosely around. Okay, hold it in place. And then I'm just going to start sticking a bunch of bobby pins into it all around. I usually do about six bobby pins to get it in place. Okay, so that's four right there. Um, I probably need a little bit more, but for stay all day long. You kind of want to feel if there's any parts that are sticking out, then, you know, add a bobby pin there. Sometimes I have a curl that's left out, and then I'll just take one bobby pin and stick it up in that section. But um, actually, I think I've got five in here. I think that's good. Sometimes I'll put a pin right here on this side. If um, this is, like, really frizzy and wavy, I'll just pin this. But usually this is how... I do it. So it's a lot like the side ponytail, but instead it's the bun. And I even come in and just pull some pieces out to make it a little fuller and make it look a little bit messier. Sometimes I do this in the middle, but usually I do it on the side. It just looks a little more put together. My last hairstyle is just doing a side braid. Now you notice that all of my um, hairstyles picked up around the side, and it's because I feel like when I pull my hair back, I look like a boy. Like I don't know, it looks weird. And then if I Put it up i have lots of these little baby hairs that start to stick out throughout the day and um you know that's not a good look they're all on the side here so i do keep my hair like this when i do the updos um so the braids are usually like a day six thing like when i have nothing else will work just get three sections and I braid it very loosely. Very loose braid. And then I don't go down all the way. Like right about here. And then wrap it around a hundred times. So it's kind of super thin here. Okay. okay, now it looks terrible like this. But again, I'm going to start to pull on it going to be a very loose braid. Okay, if I need to pin this side, I will. I probably don't need to pin, but I'll do it anyway. On that side, I want it a little bit just to add a little bit of volume here because I do have these things that stick out. So if I put it too tight, that sticks out and it looks weird. And then I start to pull on the actual braid itself to loosen it up and fluff it up a little bit. Sometimes I even tease my roots if I need to, if I need some volume. Usually just shaking it around like this is good enough. And that's my side braid. If I need to fix the ends, I fix them, smooth, you know, any product over it. But this is basically how I would leave it. So those are the different curl-friendly hairstyles. I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. I'll be back with more videos soon. Thanks for watching.